I'm here tonight to present a Lifetime Achievement Award to Edith Windsor, my good friend. Some say the name Edith derives from the Anglo-Saxon term a god, with egg meaning good or prosperity and geeth meaning battle or strife. Put together, it's said that these two words evoke warrior for the good. So I'm going to tell you the tales tonight of a warrior for the good. Edie's path started, or the part of it that I'm recounting, started in 56 when she worked on her master's degree in mathematics and as a research assistant programming software at the UNIVAC. She was a leader in computer technology. Um, she went to IBM in 58 and for 16 years held senior technical and management positions in systems architecture, operating systems, and language processors. She won a competitive doctoral scholarship but returned from Harvard to her work and friends in New York City without that doctorate but to live and work where she needed to be. In 68, Edie was named Senior Systems Programmer, IBM's highest rank. She was honored in 87 as a pioneer in operating systems. In the early 1980s, Edie took delivery of the first IBM PC shipped to a New York City address. Before long, and before most of us knew what a personal computer was, Edie was the co-founder of two important PC users groups, NYPC and the international database group IDBug. In 87, after the stock market crashed, she returned to IBM after it crashed the first or maybe third or <laughs> a different time, a different time. Um, she returned to IBM and put in three more years at that time as a senior applications program, programmer. At about that time, she began another career in gay lesbian activism. She was a charter member of the task force, part of the founding core group for the center and later for the Lesbian History Archives, active in EGO, the East End Gay Organization, in many roles over many years. She served on the SAGE board from 86 to 88, and again almost 20 years later. She was assistant stage managers, manager of Taking Liberties, a lesbian musical whose proceeds... <laughs> there was a lot of cast and crew of Taking Liberties, um, me included. Um, a lesbian musical whose proceeds supported the archives and Estrella and the task force. She was an early branch, along with me, in a phone tree that could launch instant demonstrations when there was anti-gay defamation. Those were the first efforts of GLAAD, um, and Edie and I were on the ground floor. Edie was on the ground floor there, too. In 87, she attended the first Old Lesbians Organizing for Change conference. And with other SAGE folks, she did workshops on coming out old. Under the aegis of Chris Almvig, a co-founder of SAGE and someone many of the people in this room know, she worked to establish Matrix, a home of our own, to be a permanent home for aging lesbians. Edie's demonstrated at City Hall and at the State Capitol and in Washington. At the Marriage License Bureau, she stepped up as a witness for gay couples as part of Marriage Equality in New York's Freedom to Marry Week. She's worked so tirelessly for same-sex marriage and was one of ESPA's marriage ambassadors. Last fall, in conjunction with National Equality March and DC's LGBT Film Festival, she worked the Q&A and signed posters for the iconic film Edie and Thea, A Very Long Engagement. <laughs> to raise funds for marriage equality. She computerized Ego's mailing list, worked months at the center establishing their database and adapting it to special events, and for me, in the Gay Games 94, saved the swimming finals from what would have been some kind of disaster. Um, 
The Edie Windsor Fund for Old Lesbians, a fund of the Open Meadows Foundation, awards grants to old lesbians helping old lesbians. The, the fund has helped organizations addressing senior lesbians' grief and isolation, made another grant for transportation and meal costs for old lesbians with medical issues, and in a grant dear to Edie's heart, built a road from a lesbian retreat's land to the nearby but previously inaccessible waterfront. As a founder and performer of the improv po political theater group Old Queers Acting Up, Edie and her cohorts took on issues of ageism, homophobia, sexism, ableism, racism, classism, and oppression performing at more than three dozen venues, including Marble Collegiate Church, the Health and Hospitals Corp., John Jay College, and High School Gay Days. These education activists, educator activists from Old Queers Acting Up raised consciousness about the oppression that affects all of our lives. If Thea Spire were here today, she would have only one thing to add. She would say, Edie is the smartest person I've ever met. She could do anything. <laughs> Film <laughs> Filmmakers Greta Olafdotter, sorry, Greta, <laughs> and Susan Mosca have prepared a video clip giving a sense of Edie's lifetime of achievement as a warrior for the good. <laughs> 